In this lesson, we're going to be talking about evidence storage. Evidence storage is something that you really need to be taking into consideration well before you actually get the evidence in place because it's not something you're probably going to be able to throw together really quickly and be able to satisfy the different rules of evidence and chain of custody rules. It needs to be secured in a way that you can ensure that it wasn't altered and it was secured from anybody else being able to get access to it. So you need to be able to think about how you are preserving your evidence and in particular digital evidence because digital evidence is so easy to manipulate. It has to be stored in a way that you can guarantee that it hasn't been changed. And we've talked about doing things like hashing files and that sort of thing to guarantee validity. But it's helpful to make sure that you've got places to store your evidence in a way that you can demonstrate later on that, yes, we stored it somewhere, nobody could get access to it, and it was kept very safe and secure. So what I've got open here is actually an FBI journal and you can see there's an article here about preserving electronic evidence and how you store data. And there's a lot of useful ideas in here about how you might go about preserving your evidence in a way that could be admissible later on in court. So very helpful here. One thing that they mention right here is storing information onto a read-only, non-rewritable CD-ROM. Once it's on a non-rewritable CD-ROM, you can guarantee that it hasn't been changed because there's no way to change it as long as you can prove that that CD-ROM is your source of information. And here's the chain of evidence, here's how it got onto that CD-ROM to begin with, and it's actually the original data that's on there. That's one way of storing that information. You can see here there's a quote, law enforcement personnel must properly preserve digital evidence to make it suitable for presentation in court. And that's really the critical point here particularly if you're talking about a law enforcement related investigation, it's got to be stored in a way that you can present it in court and not have it questioned or challenged. So there are actually some commercial solutions that are available. And let me just show you a couple, not that I'm suggesting that you should go out and get these two particularly, but there are a couple that have popped up just from doing a quick search. You can search yourself for these evidence storage solutions. So here's one from a company called L3 Communications and specifically Mobile Vision Incorporated. Here's a digital evidence management solution where we've got a digital evidence viewer. And in the back end, it's got a place where you would store the evidence and the data in a secure way. So that's one commercial solution that's available. And here's another one for an integrated digital evidence management solution from a company called MediaSolve. And you can see that they've got this little infographic here about sources of digital evidence. There's a place for you to store all of the information and have analytics on it as well as tools to be able to access it and the different sources of where the data comes from, whether it's digital audio or digital photos or documents, some video interview rooms. There's a lot of ways of storing digital evidence. So this one actually takes into consideration cases where you've got digital evidence that isn't necessarily around looking at a computer system itself, but there is still digital evidence. So digital photos, for example, you could have digital photos that never actually touched a computer system. They just happen to be stored in a digital format on a card that came from a digital camera. So that's something to keep in mind as well, is you may have digital evidence that's not related to a computer-based investigation, 
that you may need to take into consideration how you're going to store it. So it may not be as simple as, okay, so I've got a hard drive and I'm going to throw it into a fireproof safe and I'm the only one that has the key. So you may actually have other cases of digital evidence where you may need to store it and also be able to access it in a secure way and be able to perform tests and analysis on it without manipulating it in any particular way. So, as I said, there's definitely some solutions that are out there, and there's low-tech and high-tech solutions, as I mentioned. Certainly the fireproof safe, if you've just got a stack of hard drives, that may be a solution that you could use. If you are going higher-end and you're doing a lot of this work, you may want to look into a commercial solution. But as I said at the beginning, it's definitely something that you want to think about from the outset before you actually have evidence to store. Otherwise, you've got this evidence and you're having to quickly cobble something together. And if you don't do it just right, then you've got a case where you've got evidence that may be called into question later on. The whole point of this is to be able to provide evidence that can't be called into question so that we can help a court case in order to get to the truth of a particular situation.